Hello my beautiful friends, it's Amanda here and today I'm just going to get ready for a regular schmegular day in my life and I'm using a bunch of my fall favorite products. So I thought it would be fun to do just a quick and easy little get ready with me type video where you can see some of my favorites in action beyond just my regular reviews and then me mentioning them in favorites. It's not really behind the scenes or anything. I mean, it's still a get ready with me video, but this isn't the typical type of content I do. I usually stick to more reviews, but this is sort of what goes into those reviews is me daily wearing the makeup that I like and daily testing the things that I'm reviewing. So I thought it would be fun if you just came along with me. It's very early in the morning. I have a lot to do today and I'm just gonna wear a pretty simple go-to look with a bunch of my simple go-to favorite products. I got my really cute Jack Lantern earrings. I have this little zit right here. So all I need now is a little bit more coffee and a little bit of my favorite makeup and I'm ready to go. So let's get ready. The first thing I'm starting off with is this Sneaky Balm from Salt New York. I have not worn a drop of foundation since I got this. I either just wear a little bit of concealer or I wear this by itself or this paired with a little concealer you'll see today. This is the perfect finish for me. I'll show you a quick little side-by-side -side here with this just applied to one side of my face. It looks just like my skin. It just gives me a nice little tint. It just evens things out, but it feels like skin. It looks like skin. You can still see my little freckles peeking through, and it's just really one of my all-time favorite products. It's such a daily wear staple for me. I cannot sing this product's praises enough. The Sneaky Balm is an absolute must-have for me. I just really, really love the way that it looks. I am going to add just a little bit of concealer. When I say a little bit, I mean a little bit. I'm taking this Too Faced concealer and I'm putting a couple of dots around my face brightening that under eye a little bit and I'm canceling out a little bit of redness around my nose and where I have that little blemish. And then I do a little bit in the center of my chin and my forehead just to make it look more even. I think it just looks better that way. I don't know, maybe I'm just conditioned to do it at this point. Then I'm gonna do just a little bit of cream blush this one's from Persona Cosmetics. It's the shade Teddy. I absolutely love this. It's such a warm, toasty little terracotta color, and it looks great with all of my more autumnal looks that I've been doing. I've been wearing some really toasty fall shades on my eyes. I've been doing a lot of rusty orangey red lips, and I just need a little bit of glow, not too much, but you know, I'm a super shock cheek girl. I have been, I will probably always be. This is the shade Lunch Money, and I'm just taking the tiniest bit on my finger and just dabbing a little bit right on the tops of my cheekbones. And then later I'll also add some of this to the inner corner of my eye look, but this is just blending in perfectly with all my cream products. I'm going to go very low maintenance with my brows. I'm just using a tinted brow gel. This is the ColourPop Brow Boss Gel in the shade Dark Brown, and it fills in enough. I don't have too many patchy spots, so this gives me enough hold and enough tint to just work on its own, especially for a day like today where I'm trying to keep it low-key. Then, you know, Speaking of being low-key, of course, I added more blush just because of who I am as a person. I needed a little bit, I needed a little bit more glow on the cheeks because I always do, frankly. I'm going to start on my eyes next. So I'm going to prime my eyes with my ColourPop Party Proof Primer. This has been my go-to eye primer for quite a while now. So of course, I need a little bit of that. And I'm going to be using one of my favorite palettes for this fall. This is the Tarte Man Eater After Dark palette. I mentioned this recently in my September favorites video. I did a whole review on it. 
This has been one of those palettes that I just constantly reach for on a daily basis when I'm doing not filming days, not makeup work days. This is one that I just keep grabbing over and over again. The shades are so easy to pair. They perform really, really well across the board. I am not disappointed with any of the formulas in here. I feel like my eye looks come together really cohesively, really easily, and I just always look good. I feel like I look good. I feel comfortable, confident, fun, sparkly, and all the things that I want to feel when I'm doing my makeup for the day. I've truly had a hard time using anything other than this Tarte Man Eater After Dark palette or the Nomad Hudson Valley palette, which was my other favorite palette that I mentioned in my September favorites video. This is a very basic eye look. It's a warm, orangey brown gold eyeshadow look, and I realize that this is not breaking any ground in the YouTube beauty space. But in all honesty, this is what I like to wear. This is the type of look that when I'm getting ready for my day and I'm taking 15 or 20 minutes to do my makeup at the beginning of a regular non-filming day, this is what I'm gonna do. This is the type of eyeshadow that I like to wear today. Maybe tomorrow it will be bright green duochromes or pink and purple, but you know, today this is what I wanted to wear. I knew I wanted to wear some of my Halloween earrings and some of my new fall sweaters and this was just what felt right. It was kind of a no-brainer as far as doing my makeup quickly when I haven't had enough coffee. This is just what comes to mind and I paired that with this little warm brick red lip color that I have been absolutely hooked on and I feel like it all came together really quickly and easily. I feel like myself. I feel comfortable and you know I feel like a little toasty warm fall goddess girl too which is exactly the look I'm going for pretty much every day of my life starting in August and ending we'll see when. Maybe never. Maybe it'll never end. I hope not. I know that this look itself is pretty basic and honestly, this is just what I like to wear all the time. I want something that's quick and easy. I've been wearing a lot of these autumnal tones in my clothing, so I just feel like these types of looks translate really well to the outfits that I've been going for lately. And I know you saw a sped up version, but this whole look start to finish takes me less than 20 minutes, so I feel like I can get ready really quickly. I know that I can feel really comfortable wearing this makeup all day just because I know it's gonna last really well, it's gonna look good all day, and I just didn't put a ton of stuff on my face, so I always find that to be more comfortable. I've been going for way, way toned down skin look, not doing a ton of face color, not really doing many if any powder products and just going for super shimmery eyelids and a more bold lip than I usually do. I realize this isn't exactly a bold lip but it's more bold than literally a nude gloss so. I know this was a little bit different from what I usually do but I just wanted to do a little bit more casual fun hangout style of video. I wanted you to see how these products function in my real everyday life not just for videos. I mean, technically I did this makeup in a video, but it's not for a video, this is just for my day. You know what I mean. Let me know how you like this. If you wanna see more videos in this style, just a more casual get ready with me hangout session. You can do your makeup while I do mine. And let me know what products are in heavy rotation for you right now. I always love to hear what things you're using, what you're enjoying, and what you think about things too. So make sure you leave all your thoughts and all your fall favorite products down in the comments below. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. <clears throat> oh, that's how I feel sometimes when I have to talk. Mm, okay. This is why it's better for me to film in the afternoon. In the morning, I just brain not work. What? What am I talking about? Just get yourself together. Hmm. I almost did a get ready with me for my Oktoberfest look. I'll show you a picture.
of me, a little like selfie picture of me. I did really, really shiny rosy cheeks and then a really subtle little all matte green eyelid because I wanted to do this really fresh faced milkmaid type of look. I almost did a tutorial for that like a Oktoberfest. Oh, my lawn guy's calling. Hold on. I literally forget what what I've filmed and what I've said. <laughs> I had to stop to take a phone call and I have no idea where I was. <sighs> That'll be fun to edit. This is why I can't film this early. I told you my brain does not work. But I realize it's not early to other people, but I'm a night owl. I think a lot a lot of creative people I know are more night owls, so I can get up and I can do the things I need to do. I get up early to take the dog out and get the kid to school and all that stuff, but when it comes to working and filming and speaking eloquently, two thumbs down. Can't do it. Not good at it. It's not one of my gifts. I feel like I look pretty good though, so I'll take it. Uh, all right, I have so much, so much stuff to get done today. Just one of those days, you know what I mean? It's one of those weeks. I got a lot going on this week. All, everybody's got appointments and I gotta go to the vet and then I gotta, you know, just the regular household running stuff. The Etsy shop's been really busy, which is great because I've been doing all my little fall and Halloween designs. So the shop's been busy, which is fun, but you know, I like to dedicate a lot, a lot of time to whatever I work on. So I've just been busy. I've had a lot going on and you know, I've been enjoying it. I've been doing some fun stuff too. You saw the Oktoberfest picture. So, you know, trying to find a balance. I don't know where it is, but I'm still trying to find it. Let me know, you can send me directions. Okay, anyway, I love your face. And if you're having trouble with balancing your life, that's okay. Literally everybody in the world feels that way at some point or another. And if anybody says that they don't, they are not telling you the truth. Anyway, you're doing great. I'm proud of you. Hang in there, you're crushing it. And I love your. See you soon. Bye.